Hi, welcome to Electric Dreams. I'm Dennis. Uh, today we're going to talk about some basics of the drive systems of 132nd scale cars. Uh, there are three very basic concepts that most people, you know, some people know about and others don't. And so we just want to go through those so that you know what we're talking about when we use these strange terms. The terms usually used for the drive systems are inlines, sidewinders, and angle winders. Some of those things sound uh, simple to understand, some of them don't. Let's go through them one by one. An inline car, the way that we have always worked them out, is a car where the motor is down the center line of the car, so it's in line with the length of the car, and that's where the word inline comes from. These were used in the early days of uh, 132nd scale and 124th scale racing and uh, continue to today. The second one is the, what is called the sidewinder, and this is when where the, the motor is parallel to the rear axle or across the car. The motor is parallel to the rear axle. We'll come to all of the various advantages in a moment. In between those two is what was eventually called an angle winder, where the motor is at set at an angle to the rear axle, about halfway between what in, in, the 90 degrees of an inline and the zero degrees of a, of an in, of a sidewinder. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages of these? Well, inlines generally are very simple. It's a very simple way of doing things. It has the, the, the rear end of the car is nice and stiff and stable, uh, simple to make uh, the, the various axle mounts. Also, a very good way of hiding a motor underneath the modern LMP cars where the center of the car is very narrow and very low. Uh, what it does, of course, do is it reduces the amount of uh, space that one has in the cockpit of the car. Uh, and you don't get as, as full detail because the motor starts encroaching. Sidewinders give us that advantage where you can put in a full cockpit with a full driver reaching down into the inside of the car. They also move the weight of the motor back towards the rear axle, which gives you much better improved traction and a lot less torque steer or, or torque reaction as the, mode, as the um, power is applied. Angle winders are in between. They give us a better weight distribution than an inline because the motor is moved back, but they also allow us to use these long can motors, which are very popular these days, and still have space for the motor with a reasonable width of rear tire. You can imagine if these long motors were turned sideways, uh, completely parallel to the axle, there would not be a lot of tire space for tires. So that's primarily the differences between those three. Uh, which one is best? Well, it depends on your track, it depends on your rules, it depends on your driving style. In general, people prefer to run at competition level, prefer to run angle winders or side winders because of the better weight distribution. But you may be running in a class where inlines only are required and you always have the advantage with an inline of being able to use very wide tires. So those are the three. I hope that that helps you remember the difference between inline, sidewinder, and angle winder.